Mm-hmm. Nothing than a good spoon of chocolate and teller to start the horror episode. Alrighty, alrighty. Now we need to get up first. We got no flashlight. We got no phone. Those creepy ass police guys are lying about us, telling us that we don't have no siblings. Let's listen. This guy's out of his mind. He's seriously looking for a person that doesn't exist that he thinks is his sister. <sighs> what a lunatic! There are so many crazy idiots these days. Maybe we should just lock him away so he can search for his little sister in a cold and lonely cell. This can't be true. They're making fun of me. Yeah. Why don't you do something about it? I don't know what, what else to do. Let me help you one last time. Turn around and look at the table. What are you going to do? <laughs> Not me, Alex. You. What should I do? End it. Once and for all. You can see what the world thinks about us. Aren't you tired of people just laughing at us? But I can't just shoot them. Well, if not them, then yourself. Trust me. Take the gun in your hand. I'll help you. Nope. Aren't there different options? I don't want a suicide. Take the gun. God damn it. Guess we must. Why the hell did the police guys leave a pistol there? What the hell? This is not correct. I'm so tired of the way the world looks down on me. All I ever wanted to do was be good and help people. Instead, all of my life I've only been kicked and beaten down. You're absolutely right, Alex. Now hurry up before they come back. Why do you leave? No, no, no. I hate no. the world so much. No, no, no. Hurry the fuck up. Face your fear and pull the trigger. Nah. We're not. We're not. We're not. Oh, you're awake. Where am I? You can't remember again. No, I can't. My memory is so foggy. Okay, let me help you. We're going to start a little question and answer session so I can see what else you remember. Who are you? Alexander Alex. Green. Hmm, okay. Where are you? Well, where are you? Well... It looks like I'm in the clinic right in now. In the clinic? I see. What happened? I've been arrested. I've been arrested. Interesting. How many siblings do you have? I have a sister. I have a sister. Hmm. What happened a year ago? I had a car accident. I had a car accident. Your memory is making progress, Alex. I am your doctor. You are in the Winevale Clinic, where we recently released you. Ah, uh, damn these headaches. So the headache is still there. Uh, wait here. I'll get you some pills. Questions. Questions. Hello, Alex. What the fuck? That... She's still there. Is that you? <laughs> of course I am, you silly. But... How can that be? Where did you come from? I was told I had no siblings. We were supposed to meet in the park. I went looking for you when you didn't show up. Besides, what do you mean you don't have any siblings? Who said that? Uh, I can't remember. My head feels so heavy. Alex? Yeah? No matter what anyone says to you, you are and will always be my brother. Okay? Uh, my head... Please, help me. Hey, Doc. We're freaking headache. You better... Everything will be fine, Alex. Hurry up Here with are the your pills. pills. Thanks, man. Chug him. Chug him. I don't even know what he's what giving us. What is wrong with me? Let's find out. We will now dive into your thoughts, just as we did back then. Focus on my voice and let it guide you. 
Okay. Close your eyes and focus on your own thoughts. Okay. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. What is this? The big unravel, I would say it is. Can you hear me, Alex? Yes, Doc. Yes, I can. Very good. Now open your eyes. No! What do you see, Alex? I can see the entrance to Winevale Park ahead of me, where I was going to meet Sam. Interesting. Try to enter the park, Alex. Whoa! Master! Okay, what kind of... I don't know. Medic okay, treatment is I'm this? in the park. I'm being called. Samantha. From Sam. Focus, Alex. It's not Sam calling you. That was me. <gasps> what? Hello, Alex. I'm calling about an anomaly in your report. It's quite urgent. Where are you right now? What kind of anomalies? I'm in Winevale Park at the moment. I was going to meet my sister Sam here. Your sister? Alex, you don't have any siblings. What are you talking about? Anyway, could you please... Hello? Can you hear me? What the hell is going on? I have completely no words anymore of what is happening here. But I guess we'll just follow these lights again until Samantha appears behind her back. Doc is not really helping us, I must say. He's not really navigating too much. Now it's this light and Samantha's voice. Hello, Alex. Hello, Samantha. Who is speaking? What? You can't even remember your own sister's voice? Where is she this time? Where are you? Huh? Come to the construction site and meet me there. Oh. I have something to show you. Finally. Okay. I'll be right there. Finally, let's go. The big reveal. The construction site. Samantha. Where are you, my dear? Okay, we've got a light here. Does this... Oh, she's there. There she is. Why are you standing there so awkwardly, not looking, facing towards? Can I see your face? Sam? Is that you? Oh, uh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh my god! Stop it! Oh god, what is happening? <laughs> Stop it! Samantha! <laughs> Samantha! <laughs> Samantha. This game keeps on giving me goosebumps all over the place. <sighs> what just happened? Oh, bro! Hey, excuse me. You look familiar somehow. Yeah, it's the guy from Everyone's Dead. Is there anyone else here? <gasps> look oh, at the right. Sam. They're standing someone to the right. The shadow dude. Uh, can I get up? This is awkward, guys. Hello? Oh, 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 why you look at me like that so slowly? What the fuck? <laughs> oh. No, <laughs> easy, oh, Alex. dude. You're back. Don't worry. Oh, what the hell was that? Well, that was your thoughts and emotions hiding deep inside you. With each dive into your mind, we get closer to clearing your mind so that you can oh my remember heart. again. I heard Sam's voice. And then there were these strange shadows. Yeah, sure. And the guy on the other yeah. side of the bench. Don't worry, it was all your imagination. Oh my god. It is important that you face these things to remind yourself of the truth. Oh god. I understand. Are you ready for the next dive, Alex? No. I think so. No. Yeah. As before... Focus on my voice. But you weren't helping Close me at the end, Doc. You left me all relax. alone. You weren't even guiding me anymore. You had to help me a little bit more than just what you're doing, bro. <sighs> but I like the story so far, I must say. It's really something, uh... Is it everything in his mind? I am curious if it's sister is really a sister or if it's just... Fake things. 
What did happen? On three, open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh my god, I'm handsome. Where are you right now, Alex? I'm in the underground. Oh no. I think in the sewers to be exact. But what happened to this guy that he have been in the sewers? What kind of messed up story is this? What is the car crash? What were you doing down there? Yeah, what were you doing down there? I heard Sam's voice and I wanted to... Wait a minute. That looks different from how I remember it. Alex, focus. What exactly were you doing down there? I... I wanted to... No. Please, sir. I don't want to come back here. Let me out. Alex, calm down. It's just an illusion. No. I want to get out of here. Help! Please, somebody, help me! We're panicking. For God's sake, stop following me. Leave me alone. Sam? Isn't it sweet how people try to escape their miserable fate? Sam? What where fate? are you? I need to get out of here. Please what help fate? me. I got chills. Aww, my big brother needs help from his little sister. Isn't that funny? You've never been able to do anything yourself. You're just a pathetic loser. What are you? That escalates Sam, quickly. What's with the what sweet sister? About? What? It's the truth. I can't help it if you're so blind you can't see it. You've always been a miserable failure. No wonder you can't get anything done. You're not Sam. Sam would never say something like that to me. Oh, really? What's Sam like? Well. Well, she's... Come on, spit it out. How is she? I, 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 I don't, I don't know, okay? I don't fucking know. I'll tell you something. I'm not that far away from you. If you manage to find me within two minutes, I'll show you the way out. Time's running. Now. Why are you doing this, Sam? Run. Damn. Run. I have to hurry. Run. Run. Run! I don't know where we're going. I'm seeing nothing. It's dark. It's dark and scary. And we're sprinting in the sewers, talking to ghosts that don't exist. We've got a chair. We cannot pick up the chair. Oh, where are we even going? Two minutes. Two minutes to where? Two minutes to too close by. Did we take the wrong turn from the? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, bring it back! Oh, my God! Yeah. Oh. oh god. Oh my sweet job. Oh, where is the crazy lady? Oh, come at me. Hey. That can't hey. Be. The paths are changing. Oh fuck. Oh, f oh I hate it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Faster, Alex. Faster. I've okay. got to find Sam and get okay. out of here. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, the crazy lady scaring me. Ah, oh, next time I see her, I punch her. I punch her. Yeah, shit punch. Okay, I don't care who is here. There was a red balloon. Red, red balloon. You oh, oh my god, leave me out. Leave me alone. Okay, it's a different path. Good for me. Oh, yeah, we're somewhere. We're getting somewhere. What the. F Damn what it. the f? I can't do it. What the f? Doctor. That's messed up. Me. I just can't make it. I, I want to get the hell out of there. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, Christ. Alex, are you alright? What happened? Oh, I my God. I heard Sam again. What did she say? She, she made fun of Dance. me. Dance. Within two minutes, I had to find her, but I didn't make it. That was just an illusion. Don't worry. Alex, I need, some, uh, I need you to water. listen to me carefully. We will dive into your thoughts a third and last time. But this time we will go so deep that you should remember again. It will probably be worse than the last two dives. Are you ready? Do I have any choice? Good. Then close your eyes and focus on my voice again. Everything will be fine. Doc, what kind of therapy is this, man? It's horrible. Oh, God. Whew, I'm even tense. Oh, my God. I need to stretch my fingers a bit. This is uh... Okay, Alex. On the count of three, you open your eyes again. The therapeutic One, horror game. Two. Three. Oh, no. 
Where are you? Oh, right shit. I'm in the interrogation room. What are you doing here? Before I woke up in the hospital, I was arrested in the Winevale Park and questioned by the police. Why were you arrested and what did they ask you? I don't know anymore. I only saw Sam lying on the ground and before I could reach her, I was arrested by the police. I can't remember the questions. That's not true, Alex. Oh, bro. What do you know? Not me, Alex. We. So it is me. What does that mean? What do you mean by we? A painful truth is always better than a beautiful lie. Don't you think? Oh. 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 Stop it. Stop. Oh, you guys. Oh, uh, hello. Oh. Oh. Nothing. Can we stop this? Oh, hello. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who's going to jump in my face now? Oh, there we go. Ooh, I knew it. <laughs> I was prepared. <laughs> I was prepared. I was watching. With one eye closed, then I get less scared. Can you just leave me? Alexander Green. Born on the 20th of February, 1994. Correct. Yep. That's right. Who are you? Who are you guys? I have some questions about your sister. Let's start straight away. Without hesitation. How old is your sister? She... Her birthday is the day after tomorrow. We wanted to meet and, and celebrate her birthday. And how old does she become then? I... Don't know anymore. Quite strange, Alex. Next question. When did you last see your sister? I was supposed to meet her at the Winevale Park earlier. But when did you see her last? I don't know anymore. And are you really Alex Green? Of course I am. Okay then, Alex. Then I have one last very simple question for you. What is your sister's name? Her name is... well... My sister's name is... Yes. Whoa. What is your sister's what name, Alex? What is happening, guys? I... I this is mind-blowing. How can you not know your own sister's name, Alex? I just don't know anymore. My thoughts are completely lost. Well, then maybe I should lock you up. What do you think about that? No. I have to see her again. But who? She's out there waiting for me. Then tell me her fucking name. I don't fucking know. Guys, Tell chill. Tell me the truth, Alex. I don't have a sister. Alex? Hey, can you hear me? Wake up, Alex. Wow. I think I can remember everything again. Well, tell me. The recording is running. Please tell us your name, age, and what happened. My name is Samantha, and I am 28 years old. I was... Hey, everything's okay. You've got no need to panic. You're safe here. I was walking in the Wineville Park when I suddenly noticed someone following me. I thought it was just my imagination, but then I saw a man wearing a hoodie. He seemed mentally distracted and often looked down at the ground, but he was always near me. At some point, he shouted something through the park. I couldn't understand it at first, until I suddenly heard my name. I looked Whoa. back and saw him running towards me. I shouted as loud as I could and told him to leave me alone. My phone had run out of battery. So I quickly ran to the phone booth and called the police. This guy just kept going and locked the entrance to the park so I was trapped. What? I saw an open manhole cover and climbed in. But even in the underground and in the sewers, 
He chased me. What? I... I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. When I took off my shoes in front of the other gate, I thought it would lead him on another track and waited hidden in the park until the police would arrive. But even then, I saw him looking for me. This is... Please, you've got to lock this lunatic up. This is next level disturbing. My name is Alex. Alexander Green. A year ago, my life changed suddenly. Apparently. I finally had a great job. Loving parents who supported me all the time. My own flat. And I was even able to buy my dream car, which I'd wanted ever since I was a little boy. Okay. I couldn't believe how good my life had become after being constantly bullied and excluded. I still managed to go my own way and didn't let others drag me down. But what happened, man? I hardly had any friends, but I constantly gave everything to achieve my goals. But one day, I had a car accident. So the car accident Pretty is true. Bad one. Car accident is true. The doctors weren't sure at first whether I was going to survive at all. I was in a coma for a really long time. During that time, I saw someone. A little girl. Her name was Samantha. She was like a little sister to me. I couldn't talk to anyone but her during that time. She was the one person who cheered me up when I was down. She gave me courage when no one else could. When I finally woke up from the coma a few weeks later, Sam wasn't there anymore. Mm-hmm, okay, got it. I asked everywhere, but everyone just looked at me strangely. That's when it started. I needed to see her again, at any cost. The day I was released from the clinic, I was on my way home when I walked through the park. Interesting to and hear suddenly his story. I saw someone who looked very much like Sam. But a little girl and a grown-up woman are two I different things, man. I towards her and called her by the name of Sam. When suddenly she ran away. Okay. I, I didn't know what I was doing at that moment. Did you lose control? I didn't hear her shout. It was just a coincidence. Sam has never existed. Has she? Wow. Psychological horror thriller. Well, guys. That was a good unravel. I liked it. I liked it. I did first think that maybe he did have a little sister and it was like more like a... I would say murder involved, but it is just all in his head. Amazing, amazing. Well, anyways, guys, I loved it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment down below, and I will see you in the next story. Yeah. Next beautiful story. Have a good day, everyone.